in the realm of racing legends. He is the wizard who outpaced even Ferrari in Formula One. Then he conjured up the iconic McLaren F1 road car that still makes petrol heads drool. And now, the time has come for him to build a spiritual successor to the McLaren F1, the Gordon Murray Automotive T50. He is Gordon Murray, and this is his story. The man who made the perfect car. Imagine a car that's not just fast, but a symphony on wheels. The T50 is Gordon's magnum opus. A dance of engineering finesse that'll leave you spellbound. Its V12 engine sings like Pavarotti, and the active aerodynamics are like a wizard spell that molds the air to its will. This ain't your ordinary supercar. It's not chasing numbers, it's chasing the thrill of driving. The T50 is here to remind us that driving is an art, and Gordon is the maestro. But before we talk about Gordon Murray's T50, let's talk about the wizard behind this. Ian Gordon Murray was born in South Africa, but he eventually found himself making his home in England, where he would shape the future of Formula One and create one of the most legendary road cars in history. Before Murray's journey to the pinnacle of motorsport, he laid the foundation for his brilliance back in Durban. Studying mechanical engineering, he couldn't resist the call of the racetrack and built his own race car, the IGM Ford. This bespoke creation, with its 1-liter Anglia engine and hints of a Lotus 7, had the spark of a prodigy. However, it was when he joined the Brabham Formula One team that Murray's talents truly ignited. Working under the management of Bernie Ecclestone, he pulled off a revolutionary feat, the infamous Brabham BT46B, aka the fan car. This audacious machine utilized a rear-mounted fan to create such mind-boggling corner speeds that it almost defied belief. Nicky Lauda, the famed Formula One driver, once described it as uncomfortably fast. The BT46B went on to claim victory at the 1978 Swedish Grand Prix before being banned. Just one of the 50 Grand Prix wins credited to Murray's designs. A couple of years later, Murray's magic continued with two F1 Drivers' Championships for Brabham in 1981 and 1983, both earned with the BT49 and the BT52 respectively. And with the talented Nelson Piquet behind the wheel, his designs proved victorious once more. But that was not the end of Gordon Murray's story. His journey took a new turn when he joined the prestigious McLaren team in 1987. As the technical director, he became a key figure in McLaren's Formula One success, playing a vital role in securing three consecutive championships from 1988 to 1990, and helping Ayrton Senna win his first driver's championship. Murray's brilliance wasn't confined to the racetrack. He also had a vision for road cars. Drawing from his experience in Formula One, he sought to create the ultimate sports car one that would challenge conventions and redefine automotive perfection. This ambitious dream gave birth to the incomparable McLaren F1. The McLaren F1, which graced the world from 1992 to 1998, continues to hold the title of the greatest sports car ever built, among many enthusiasts. Blending lightweight engineering with a BMW-derived V12 engine it was a masterpiece of speed, handling, and beauty, surpassing the likes of the Jaguar XJ220. The McLaren F1 set a new standard for performance, reaching a top speed of 386 kilometers per hour and becoming the fastest production car of its time. But Gordon Murray's passion for pushing boundaries didn't wane. Armed with invaluable knowledge from Formula One, and a philosophy of lightweight and engaging sports cars, he embarks on a new chapter in his remarkable journey. The Gordon Murray Automotive T50. Like the iconic McLaren F1, this three-seater supercar places the driver right in the center, 
guaranteeing maximum thrills and enjoyment. But here's where it gets really exciting. Murray is turning back the clock, creating what he calls an analog supercar, with a focus on simplicity over modern, complicated technology. At the heart of the T50's design philosophy lies an unwavering commitment to the driver's enjoyment. Inspired by the central driving position of the McLaren F1, Murray insists on placing the driver right in the center of the action, surrounded by two lucky passengers. This not only provides a unique and immersive driving experience, but also enhances the car's balance and handling. But the real magic of the T50 lies in its analog supercar essence. In a world where technology reigns supreme, Murray dares to challenge the norm, crafting a car with a distinct focus on simplicity and raw driving pleasure. Modern, complicated gadgets take a back seat as the T50 celebrates the purity of the driving experience. It's a daring move, but one that promises to resonate with true driving enthusiasts. Weight is the eternal enemy of performance, and Murray knows this all too well. Taking a page from Colin Chapman's book, the legendary founder of Lotus, he endeavors to keep the T50 as light as possible. While most contemporary supercars are burdened by their hefty mass, Murray has set an ambitious goal to keep the T50's weight under the magical 1,000 kilogram mark. The result? A feather light 980 kilogram supercar ready to dance with agility and grace. Under the bonnet of this lightweight marvel sits a bespoke Cosworth built 3.9 liter V12 engine, a true ode to mechanical excellence. Murray's mantra of simplicity extends to the powertrain as well, shunning the modern trend of turbos and hybrids in favor of unadulterated engine capacity. The Cosworth engine may appear modest with 485 kilowatts of power and 450 newton meters of torque but it's far from ordinary. Revving all the way to 12,100 RPM, it unleashes a symphony of power that'll send shivers down your spine. But power is not everything. It's the way it's harnessed that matters. The T50's aerodynamics are carefully curated, honed through advanced engineering to ensure the car glides effortlessly through the air. Every curve and contour serve a purpose allowing the T50 to cut through the wind like a sharp knife. This aerodynamic prowess complements the car's lightweight design, elevating its performance to stratospheric levels. With the T50, driving is an art form. Every turn of the wheel, every shift of the gear, every press of the accelerator, it's all a part of a symphony that connects you to the road like never before. It's a celebration of the driver, where modern gadgetry takes a step back and the focus is on pure driving pleasure. Back in 1978, Murray designed the Brabham BT46B, featuring a fan at the back that boosted downforce by extracting air from underneath the car. It was a daring move, but rivals protested and the fan vanished from the scene. But here's the twist, Murray never forgot. Decades later, with the T50 in mind, he breathed new life into the concept. The T50 boasts a 400 mm fan at the rear, a centerpiece of its highly advanced ground effect aerodynamic system. This engineering marvel creates six distinct aerodynamic modes, auto, braking, high downforce, streamline, VMAX, and test. This means that the T50 generates its downforce primarily from underneath, allowing the designer to sculpt the sleek, undisturbed body, what exudes modern excellence. We were highly focused on achieving the purest possible form of the T50, Murray declares with pride, an objective we've achieved through world-first engineering innovations and active underbody aerodynamics. The car is a testament to the genius of its creator, and we can't wait to see the completed design at its global debut in May. Murray's passion for Formula One remains undiminished, and he has partnered with the Racing Point F1 team to fine-tune the T50's aerodynamics. Using a 40% scale model of the car, 
They're pushing the boundaries of design, ensuring that every element is optimized for performance. For those with a love for raw, unadulterated power, the T50 is a dream come true. Priced at 2 million pounds, 3.8 million dollars, it may seem steep, but that hasn't stopped supercar collectors from lining up to claim their piece of automotive history. With only 100 units to be built, the T50 is destined to become an instant classic, cherished by enthusiasts who recognize its rarity and unmatched allure. Unsurprisingly, Gordon Murray wants to see the T50 on track and has expressed a desire to return to Le Mans. The McLaren F1 famously won the 1995 24 Hours of Le Mans after customers requested a racing version. So, Murray may just be jumping to the inevitable result. The T50's lightweight nature at just 980 kilograms poses a challenge as it falls below the 1,245 kilogram minimum weight limit for the GTE class. However, Murray remains undeterred, not ruling out competing in the new hypercar class against giants like Toyota, Peugeot, and Aston Martin. As the T50 enters production, it marks a major milestone for Gordon Murray Automotive. Hand-built with love and precision at their Dunsfold facility in England, this V12-powered supercar is a dream come true for enthusiasts worldwide. With only 100 examples to be built, each T50 will be highly unique and customized to its owner's preferences. No two cars will boast the same exterior paint color, adding an exclusive touch to these automotive masterpieces. With the T50's global debut, the automotive world is set to witness the birth of a true legend. Gordon Murray's vision and engineering brilliance come to life in a symphony of power, precision, and unparalleled driving pleasure. If you enjoyed this story, buckle up and stay tuned for more fascinating tales about your favorite car brands. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for a joyride through the world of automotive history. Thanks for watching and see you soon.